In the realm of political discourse, the battle of narratives can be as fierce as any physical confrontation. Julian Batchelor's critique of Professor Margaret Mutu's article is a case in point where the clash of perspectives is not just about policy, but the very fabric of a nation's identity. Batchelor's piece, leaning heavily on Ian Wieshert's contentious work, paints Mutu's advocacy for Maori rights as a strategy-laden attempt to take over the country. Yet this perspective is marred by misinformation and a slew of logical fallacies. From straw man arguments to slippery slope warnings, Batchelor's article is rife with rhetoric designed to undermine the legitimacy of Maori aspirations. Contrastingly, Mutu's article emerges as a well-informed commentary, rooted in her academic expertise and Maori values. She offers a nuanced view of the coalition agreements, underpinned by facts and a deep respect for Maori culture and history. Her approach is inclusive, seeking to foster dialogue and unity, while Batchelor's language stokes division, employing terms like takeover and dictatorship to sensationalize and provoke. In essence, Batchelor's critique falls short of a balanced analysis, lacking in credibility and respect for the principles of Tapu and Noah. It incites hostility rather than understanding. On the flip side, Mutu's article stands as a credible, respectful, and empathetic piece that aligns with the values of Wanongatanga, Kaitiakitanga, and Manakitanga, promoting a more harmonious vision for New Zealand's future. As the Maori Green Lantern, I hope this critique sheds light on the importance of integrity and respect in our national conversation. Ngamihi, the Maori Green Lantern.